and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 28. And today is Tuesday, December the 27th of 2022. Today is not going to be the busiest day, but there's still stuff that I'm doing, so I am going to just vlog about it. But anyways, um, first up, I'm going to go ahead and do dinner for tonight. going to make it real quick. My mom has to work today, long hours, so she won't even be home for dinner. So I like to cook on those nights especially. And this is one of our family faves, and it is goulash. Well, minus my dad. My dad hates it. I don't know why, but he hates it. So He's not home for dinner tonight, um, so we don't have to worry about making him something separate. He is going with his sister to get a dog. His sister got a dog for Christmas or whatever, and they're, like, so excited about it. So, anyways, we're able to make goulash tonight. So... Goulash is so basic, we make it really simple. I'm gonna use half a box of the Cream Mat Elbow Macaroni. I'm gonna use two of the Morning Star Grillers. I think these taste just as good as regular meat. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but I like the flavor of these. Some of those meatless things are gross, but I like Morning Star. My mom and grandma don't eat meat, so when we make this, since my dad hates it, um, we will just go ahead and use the Morning Star. And then I'm gonna use a can of diced tomatoes and a can of petite diced tomatoes, and then I'm also gonna use a whole can's worth of water. So, and also I will use some minced onion flakes. So, what you do first, going to open these tomatoes, dump them in here, and do a whole can of water and bring that to a boil. Then I'll add the pasta, and then while that's doing it, I'll cook the grillers in the air fryer. I'll microwave them first to thaw them, but then I'll finish them up in the air fryer. And then you kind of mix that all together and it's just delicious. So it's going to be great. Okay guys, so I got, I believe, eight cards here to go ahead and mail out to you guys. Eight or seven? No, seven. Seven cards I'm going to mail out for the Christmas card exchange. The cards are still coming in. As of yesterday, I had six more down there. So if you send me one, even if it's after Christmas, I'll still send you one back. Um, it's been so fun to connect with you guys this way. It's just been so awesome. So I'm going to send these out. Hopefully you guys get them soon. Okay, so it is actually several hours later now. It's been several hours since I've last recorded. Actually, I, that's kind of a lie. I've tried recording this specific clip like five times and I keep messing it up. But anyways, finally catching up with you all today on this vlog. I know it's kind of been a boring vlog so far, but um, it's just been a nice relaxing day. I've not had a lot to do. That's been weird because the last several days have been go, 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 go. Christmas has been very busy. Um, and then work was very busy yesterday. And then the Christmas clearance shopping was very busy. And then the next two days, I have several videos to film. So it's going to be a busy time. But today was just like a nice day where I didn't have a ton of stuff going on. And that's been great. So I've just been relaxing and really enjoying that. 
But I want to go ahead and get some stuff done now. So I'm actually going to get my room put back together from Christmas. All my Christmas gifts are in here from when I filmed that video. Um, my desk is looking rough and I've come to the decision. I got some stockpile stuff too that needs put away. So this room just, it's in need of some love and attention. Um, but I've come to the difficult decision. That I am going to go ahead now and take down my Christmas decorations. Always sad. Usually I do leave them up a little bit longer than this. Normally I think I would do it till New Year's, but since I got to go through all the cleaning and organizing anyway, it just made more sense to go ahead and do it all at once instead of cleaning today and then having to like take everything down next week or whatever. So I am going to go ahead and take the decorations down, which is sad, but in a way it is also kind of exciting because I don't know, I'm kind of ready for something new. As we're heading into the new year, just a more kind of a cleaner, less busy desk. I only decorate for Christmas. I don't keep up with decorating any other time of year. So it'll just be more classic and just like minimalistic, which is actually sounds kind of cool right now. So that's what's up. We're going to clean. We're going to take down the Christmas decor. Um, as for the cards, I bet you I got double the amount of cards that I did last year for the card exchange. Y'all were so sweet. I truly loved re reading every single card that I was sent. To my knowledge, I have sent everybody back a card. If you don't get a card from me by next Monday, January 2nd, get with me an email and let me know that you didn't get a card and resend me your address and I will send you one back. Um, because I'm pretty, like I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have sent everybody a card back who sent me one who had their address on the letter. If you didn't have your address on the letter, then I didn't send you one back because obviously I didn't know your address. But if you put your address and your name on there and everything, um, actually, even if you didn't put your name, I still sent you one back. I just put awesome subscriber. So anyways, long story short, if you haven't got a card back from me by this Monday, let me know and I will get you one out. Um, but I'm almost positive that everybody got a card back who sent one to me. So it's been so fun. I've really enjoyed doing the card exchange with everybody. It's so cool to connect through the mail. I mean, it's, it's cool to connect on comments, but on the mail, that's just something different and cool. But anyways, card exchange has been great. So I'm going to pack up. These are all cards from last year. And so as we head into the next year, 2023 Christmas, I'll be using cards I got from this year, 2022. And then with these cards, I'm not getting rid of them. I know that. So I'll have to think about something I can do to use them next year. I feel like maybe a garland, maybe. But how long would that garland be? It would be huge. We'll see. I got a whole year to decide about that early. So anyways, let's get to cleaning and organizing. Product mostly, I still gotta put stuff away. Um, and 
basement. So, I mean, all this is going to be gone. This, these boxes and things, but everything else is good. Um, this is my updated office tour and I'm actually feeling pretty great about it. It looks really weird not having the cards behind me because I've had them there for so many months, but without the decorations, it makes this area feel so much bigger, which is really, really weird. Um, yes, it looks amazing. I am so excited for it. I think it looks awesome. Um, everything I need here to be organized and all the things. So let's give you guys a brief tour. Why not? Um, this island here, I usually use this when I did couponing haul videos or grocery hauls. I've not done a grocery haul like lined up on the table in a hot minute like I used to do. But if I decide to, then I'll do it here. Some of the uh, little sequins from the snow, fake snow, kind of rubbed off on here. It's going to be fun to clean that up, but I'm going to do my best. Then on this shelf, I got the nice big Target cart that Mike and Ken sent me for Christmas. I think that's just cool up there. Nice little background. Got my Back in 2000 poster that I got for my birthday. And then this plaque that says Stay Positive. That's great. Here's my printer, and it's right in close access to my desk, which I love. Um, got a basket of goodies there, hot cocoa and candy. So that's not the best for my diet, but I'll have those things in moderation, right? Um, filing cabinet, actually, my mom and dad, they keep their stuff on the top. And then since I'm an adult now and I have taxes and all that, especially being self-employed, there's a lot of paperwork that's got to be organized. So I keep that in the bottom. Then I got some like notebooks and things like that. Um, sticker books, which I really don't use a whole lot anymore. Washi tape. Then I got up here, let me show you guys, some stuff that you guys sent me for Christmas again. Y'all spoiled me this Christmas, it was so kind. I got my Walmart cart, my little Walmart basket, my Arthur plush, the one you sent me, and I did buy myself this ornament, which I love. Junk that needs cleaned, mostly coupons and things that are probably expired, so I gotta do that. My laptop isn't going to always be there or anything like that, but for now, I'm just sitting it here because I've been working on it. I'm going to still do some stuff on my desktop, um, so I got that. I found it weird. I don't know if anybody knows the technical reason, but my videos, a lot of them export a whole lot quicker on my desktop than my laptop, which is bizarre, um, so I don't know. Oh, I got this thing here that Mike and Ken sent me as well, this little pen organizer, and I'm using the other thing Mike and Ken sent me, which is this cable organizer, which is amazing. I'm so used to the cables flying all over the place, but it looks so much better with the way they did it. Then here I keep some stuff I'm not going to show you because I have them, like, checks and stuff in there. Um, and then my bullet journal, I keep that here as well. Um, my new planner for the new year. Um, I've been working on setting this guy up and I love it so far. I'm going so simplistic for the new year. Literally, I have a little bit of a weekly pre-planning at the top and then the rest of this is just to-do lists. That's it. To-do list every day. Just plain and simple, basic, easy. It can be as long as I want, can be as short as I want. It's awesome and I love that. So guys, this is my updated little office setup and I really think it's gonna help me to be more productive in the new year. So last night after I got my video done, the clearance shop with me video, I thought I was done, but then I actually did decide to run back to Walmart because I got to thinking about it and I wanted to see if Walmart had any fragrance sprays left for my grandma's gift. And I actually talked to her about it. Um, she's kind of curious, you know, I asked her first, are you like loyal to the Bath and Body Works kind? And she said, no, she really doesn't like have a preference on brand, just the scents. And she just said, as long as stuff doesn't smell like roses, she's good to go. So I just went ahead and went back to Walmart and I did find these guys on clearance, the Body Fantasies, um, little sets here. They are smaller than the Bath and Body Works ones, but she already gets like, I bought her several little gift sets yesterday and they have little sprays in them too. So these should be fine. These were a whole lot cheaper. They were half price at $2.49 and it comes with three sprays. So that was a good deal. So just went ahead and went that route this year. Um, and then for my aunt, I thought I was done with her, but I went ahead and got these two little things. I got her the robe gift set and I thought these two things would just go perfect with it. Um, shower steamers. These are like bath bombs, but for shower. So you just put it on the floor in your shower and it steams and I just thought that'd be really cool. So I got that for her and I got her this little mask that sells self-care. This is $1.24. This was $2.49. And I actually got one of the shower steamers for my grandma. And then I did the find your happy place deal. Again, they reset on Shopcake for me, literally. I was able to do that deal three times yesterday because I went to Walmart three times, which was crazy. But 
they were a money maker in the end because that one was a money maker and this one was like 20 cents or something so I, I was happy so another little mini walmart clearance haul feeling really good about this one Guys, it feels so weird to be looking here without the cards. I just, uh, it's going to take some time to get over that. I'd love to get a sign back here one day, one of those big signs and like have it do my like logo and things, say Ohio Valley Couponer. I would love to do that in the future. So I need to like save up and make that happen because they're expensive, but I would love to do that one day. But guys, that's all I got for this vlog. I really hope you all did enjoy. We'll be back tomorrow with another one riding out Vlogmas. And thank you so much for watching.